The glow-in-the-dark dodgeball game took place at the Rollins Wellness Complex and John Athletic Faculty's Gym on Saturday at 8 o'clock p.m. The faculty's council oversaw the event and stated that the purpose of the event was to get people involved. And I'd say that it was a, it was a success. As the name would suggest, there was absolutely no light in the gymnasium. But for, fortunately, the students were given black lights to work with, as well as headbands, wristbands, and glow sticks in order to illuminate their way and in order to see who they are hitting. Even though many students said that it was hard to see what they were doing, I believe that with the with the addition of the black lights, the the glow up glow sticks, that glow headbands and wristbands, I believe they had a lot of fun while enshrouded in darkness for the time being. And I feel like it, in that regard, it re worked really. well. The games were intense and would last a while as many students proved to be very good at evading and catching the ball. Though initially shrouded in darkness, once more students arrived at the event, that it was decided that it should all be lit up. And that way there could be more visibility and that no one could get hurt. Overall, it was a very nice turnout as many students came out to play despite the event taking place over the weekend. This is Cameron Dalton and I am signing out.